Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those peepers? Yo, 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 I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm better than ever, I'm all healed up. Still got a little bit of a goose egg on my head from that shovel whack. But uh, I think I'll be alright, and I addressed the issue, so I'm just going to get back to making my, my videos that I've been making before all the nonsense happened. Uh, just to reiterate, or however you would pronounce it properly, um, all that stuff that happened, I, you know, I don't mean to point the, point the blame, but everything that went down and how it did and how the clues came about and the Columbo-like research, I kind of figured things out, but I just want to, I just want to get over that little little bump in the road if you will and get on to making my my videos properly here because you know YouTube's a a good spot and it's all in good fun and you know people do what they need to do to get their channel to where they need to make it to where people are viewing it more so if you guys understand that aspect you'll kind of see why things are the way they are video wise um, but yeah I mean I'm out here walking this morning it's uh, September 7th 220, 2020 2017 and uh, we've had a lot of smoke and fire from the from the fire that was caused by some kids out in the gorge east of Portland um, by fireworks so that's what caused that and it's been burning now for like maybe three or four days and last two days here we've had ashes actually falling from the sky like snow and all the cars in the morning when we woke up were covered in ash and soot and my parents said that they hadn't seen anything like it since Mount St. Helens blew up in like 1980 something so we're still fighting all the smoke and a lot of people are having to walk around with like inhalers and masks on thing is is out here in east county it was a lot worse because obviously we're closer to where mount hood is and all the gorge and stuff so east of here they evacuated uh there was three different evacuations vac one vac two and vac three and a buddy of mine was waiting actually for the evac 3 and that was only about 12 miles from where I'm at so you know it got real it got real real quick and most of these firefighters not most of them all these guys are out there risking their lives for us to be safe all because some I wouldn't even use explicit uh, kid probably not even from Portland or Oregon in general, decided that he was going to light off some fireworks, smoke grenades or whatever it was, and throw them off into the, the Columbia River Gorge. Well, we haven't rained here in over three months, and in the summer it's hot and it's dry, because the Oregon, Oregon rains here so much, our bushes and stuff are very lush and green. But in the summertime, things dry out very fast because our plants and stuff aren't used to it. Our trees aren't used to it. So they get dry very fast and, and it engulfed and literally ruined thousands and thousands of acres of wildlife, forest, animals, homes. I think two firefighters even lost their lives. So if this kid is charged with arson or manslaughter or however it works i mean it's just unfortunate on both sides you know kids do dumb stuff i've done dumb stuff when i was a kid you know and hopefully you learn by your you know you learn by your mistakes but we've been dealing with the smoke in the air and it's just been thick it's like waking up basically next to a campfire so other than that things have been good and uh, I'm just checking in for the day. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll probably be back with a little more of an update later. But 
just wanted to check back in and let you guys know I'm still cooking around here and everything's back on track for for filming so I appreciate you guys watching liking my videos subscribing sharing my videos watching in general even if you thumbs down it it's all good with me it means you're even watching it I don't know so until we meet again which we will very soon vlog and die.